Is this our last bump photo? Oh my gosh. I don't think we'll ever fully be ready. No. What do you think about potentially seeing your sister in the next few days? Brittany's contractions have been getting a little bit more intense. Breathe in, breathe out. We are on our way to the hospital. This is really intense. Let's do it. Okay. Let's go. Everything's ready to go. Let's do it. I love so, you. Love you too. Mm. Five days out from my due date. We just picked up Jaden from our freshman retreat. Got some Shake Shack. We are looking to film some more TikTok videos today. Take a few Instagram photos. We're all caught up with our campaigns, which is a great feeling. Now we're just filming all of our extra content. We have all of our YouTube videos done besides the ones that will be baby related once she's here. So just waiting to go into labor. How do you think this is going so far? Do you think she would have already been here or? Where are you at? <laughs> Where are you at, little squish? We're on a timeline here. <laughs> I am ready for her any day, but it is nice that I'm able to continue to shoot and still have my energy up. We'll see how that goes tomorrow. I'm going for my chiropractor appointment tomorrow and I'm getting an induction massage, so hopefully that will get things going. We will see. I'm currently four days now away from my due date. Still no contractions, no child on the horizon. I feel like you're thinking about it way too much here. I am. You just gotta go with the thinking about it so much. Be born on the day she wants to be born. I assume she would already be here by now, so I think it's getting into my head a little bit. We're on our way to the chiropractor. He's going to adjust me, and he's pretty good about telling if my hips are progressing to the point of that I would be able to push out a baby. So last time he said my hips were progressing in a good way. So the last time I saw him was a few days ago. So I'm interested to see if I've made more progression since then, I hope. And I'm getting a prenatal massage later this afternoon that is supposed to help with pressure points and supposedly help induce labor. It only helps induce labor if your body's actually ready for labor. So we will see. Anthony's getting a massage too. The not a pregnancy one. <laughs> He's just along for the ride with these just extra up perks. The extra stuff, getting adjusted, <laughs> he gets adjusted too. Get a massage. <laughs> Treat myself. Four days. I'm reading more and more. A due date is just an estimated date. Typically, no one really goes on their due date. I think they said only about 10% of women actually have their baby on their expected due date. I'm not going to stress too much unless it's like I'm a full week past my due date, then I'm going to start stressing. Well, we always talk about the stability sign, right? So pregnancy, labor, deliver. Oh, you Your left hip trip was making that last transition. That's why we were thinking in February okay, yeah. too. Yeah. Let's check and see what position the right one is. Because it's got to go. So you, you've been doing this for a while. Yeah. But the left one had been, because the left one was the one that's moving faster. And that's the one that was more tender. Yeah, that's the one we call the leading edge. So that one will tell us where this one's going to go. So let's let's check and see what position okay. it's in now. Uh, I was trying to check myself, but I don't know what I'm doing. It's hard. It's hard. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. Your arms aren't super long. Okay, let's see where we're at. Okay. This one needs to move a tiny bit more, but I tell you what, it's moved since the last time I saw you. Okay. So let's come on your side facing me this direction over here towards me. But so when you think that you can predict, when I'll go in the See, if you are, <laughs> if you're due, you're, you're, you're 40, due. Dave, is on Saturday, right? Friday. On Friday. Okay, so I'm thinking probably Wednesday or Thursday. It's oh, a pretty really? good chance. Well, let, let's let's see, let's see. Be because, cool because structure structure determines function. Yeah. So the structure is is creating that position. And it's just like this. Yep. And we just move it. it. <laughs> <laughs> so satisfying. I bet you you're probably you're probably about one or two centimeters right now. Okay, I'm getting say. checked tomorrow, so I'm yeah. gonna see. We'll see. We'll see. What did you think about that he said Wednesday or Thursday maybe? That would be perfect. Jaden starts school on Friday. I mean, but you can't, I'm very against. I don't wanna put it in my head, but he's just saying. Trying to schedule the birth. I know. Oh my gosh, babe. Imagine if we had the baby on Wednesday. That is literally two days from now. Are you ready? I'm ready. I don't know. I'm ready to get this chunky out so I can kiss her and smell her face. Can't wait to see you. Maybe on Wednesday or Thursday. When is your birthday gonna be? I feel her. Or something yeah. Here.
I just got my massage. I feel so relaxed. Bae is enjoying her cup of So wrong. <laughs> We're going for some spicy food tonight. This is very spicy. Although this baby does is used to spicy food though. So I don't know if that's gonna even do anything for me. Come on, baby. We wanted to meet you already. I know. There's some ramen. So is this plan B, pineapple? We're gonna try it. Heather said that she ate a can of pineapple and her water broke the next morning. So we'll Could have been a coincidence. Could have been a coincidence, but I'm really banking on the fact that he said Wednesday or Thursday. So I think I have two more days, but we'll see. Is this gonna be our last doctor's appointment? I don't know. We're three days out from my due date and we are going to get checked this morning to see if I'm dilated at all. I hope. I do feel a little bit more pressure down there. I feel... Could like, have been the ramen last I know. night. Shoot, I don't know. Or the pineapple. <sighs> it's just getting to my head. It's like, when is it going to happen? I just want to meet her so bad. And I want to not be pregnant anymore. <laughs> okay, let's get so excited checked. to see what she says. Is this our last bump photo? Oh my gosh. I'm going to be 40 weeks on Friday. Oh, she's so cute in there. She's kicking a lot last night. I think she's getting very smashed. She's like, I need to get out. <laughs> when did you get a tattoo? <laughs> Imagine it's just like almost cut it. Just... <laughs> and then it strengths to back down a size after. What you doing in there, little girl? Oh, sweet oh. pea. She's like, I'm trying to get into my position, but <laughs> everyone's rushing me. Wasn't the news that I was hoping to get at this appointment. Her head is really, really low, but I'm not dilated at all. The cervix needs to drop. And so far it hasn't. So she recommended trying my breast pump for some nipple stimulation, maybe a little castor oil. She basically said I need a little bit of contractions to get my body to drop the cervix. So far I haven't had any Braxton Hicks. I haven't had any contractions. But she said she'll give me more time. I have an appointment next Monday to do like just a full fetal check to make sure the baby's okay and that she's okay with being there a little bit longer. But I'm really gonna try a few things today, her recommendations, and I'm gonna try the mile circuit, maybe do some walking uphill. We need to slow down and embrace the pregnancy. You think that's really the reason? Yeah, you gotta put the mindset. You have to set your mind and relax and let the body do its thing. The if the body. baby's not here, I feel like I should be working, not relaxing. No, you need to relax. <laughs> that's how the baby's gonna come. <sighs> relax and eat something. Sexual intercourse? No, this is a oh. nipple touching. <laughs> we will keep you posted. We are literally trying everything to get this baby out. So we'll do a little bit of castor oil. Now we're walking up hill in our neighborhood. Take the dogs. He took me the steepest hill he could find. And I think this may work. This is like a 45 degree. <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> this is gonna kill I'm my knees. I'm really scared to walk down it going down a hill. Does it feel like fall? Yeah, it does. just starting to get cramps. We are thinking it could be pretty soon now. Anthony's setting up the car seat. It's hard to do. <laughs> <laughs> I've done like three of these already, but this one I haven't yet, but it's pretty self explanatory This one yeah. seems good for bringing her home from the hospital because like, it's really easy. small. Every week we're like, we gotta put the car seat in. But it just never seemed that real yet. Yeah, now it's like, I'm cramping oh, up. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't believe she's gonna be in this soon. She's not gonna give me a lot of leg room here. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh my gosh. Well, that seemed pretty easy. Yeah, so cute. What do you think that it could be within the next few hours? No, maybe a day? I don't know. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Are we even ready? Oh. I don't think we'll ever fully be ready. No. We just gotta go. We just gotta do it. Just do it. Come out. I'm Throw excited. you in here. It'll be good. <laughs> I'm having cramping, which feels like I could start my period any moment. So I think that we're headed in the right direction. 
What do you think about potentially seeing your sister in the next few days? I don't know how quickly this will go. Are you nervous? I'm just gonna be sitting right here. So we're trying to get some last minute errands done. Of course, we didn't have things done that we probably should have had before, but we're gonna go get snacks, make sure Jaden's ready for school tomorrow. Do the laundry. We're gonna go do another big walk, so hopefully it'll just keep things going. But it's nice that there's things happening, a right? sign of hope. Yeah, because I was getting nervous that if I go too over my due date that I would potentially have to have a C-section, but I'm still meeting with my doctor in the morning to do a scan of the baby, make sure she's fine, and just to make sure, you know, she's not in there too long. But really, I'm only, I'm only two days over my due date, so. Oh yeah. It's not it's bad. Not bad. Yeah. Get through this day. Let's do it. <laughs> Explain to me how you are feeling. Is it like period cramps? Okay, it's done. Yeah, it's like a really strong tight eat, but like, yeah, Like, do you feel so like your ab muscles are contracting? It's almost like I feel like it's a really strong period, but it's definitely tighter. I'm just trying to keep everything loose and trying to breathe through it, but. It's just currently 10.30 at night. And this started happening around like what? Nine? Well, I kind of had cramps all day, but my mom said that it was most likely I was having contractions and not just cramps. Not just bad eating choices. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> I'm just like scared for when it hits me. I'm like nervous, but I think okay. at least it's pretty we'll... manageable. We've been tracking on our app. And they're pretty regular. Yeah. Oh, I'd say maybe. Moving. At least oh. she's fine. She's like, I'm ready to come at out. At least I was able to do my hair. So if I had to go in the hospital, at least it's, my hair was so greasy before. So at least it's clean. I think we still have at least one more night. Yeah, I think I should be fine throughout the night. Tomorrow may be the day. I have my appointment with my doctor at 8 a.m. tomorrow. She was originally scheduling it just because I was going to be past due at that date. I was going to be three days overdue. So she wanted to just check the baby, everything tomorrow. So hopefully I can make it to that appointment and then she can see if I'm, how far dilated I am. And we're gonna bring her hospital bags there just in case she sends us to the hospital. Maybe a family of four soon. Oh my gosh, that's not, okay. I'm having another one. I just stand up. <laughs> breathe in, breathe out. Yeah, this is not comfortable. I have zero pain tolerance. I don't remember anything I'm supposed to be doing for the positions. All that training, I just, okay. <laughs> what do you think that she can come out soon? This is so strange. We thought about this for so long. And yet we're still not ready. We're what do you mean we're not ready? We're ready. She's gonna come out tomorrow, I feel it. You think? You think her birthday's gonna be, what's tomorrow? August 15th? No, tomorrow's August 16th. Oh, it is? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so relieved though that I'm actually showing signs of labor and a C-section seems like it's less of an option right now. Because if I was going to the doctor's appointment tomorrow with no signs, I'd be really nervous. Yeah. Okay, we need to get to bed. Okay. We need to get I'm some sleep, sleep. All right, I'm too nervous, I'm excited. Okay. So it's about 3.30 in the morning. Brittany's contractions have been getting a little bit more intense and so she didn't really sleep for that long. I mean, I didn't either. I think we had like two hours of sleep. It's getting just a little bit too uncomfortable. So she's in the shower right now. The shower seems to be making her feel a little bit better, slow down the contractions, but we're really gonna try to wait it out and see if we can get up to the 45 second to the one minute mark for her like contraction duration. And then we'll head to the hospital or if she feels like she's in too much pain, we'll, we'll go. But didn't expect to wake up in the middle of the night, but it'll, it'll be all right. Brittany's mom is also on her way over because Jaden has school this morning. If we do have to head to the hospital within the next couple hours, Jaden will be taken care of. And then hopefully we have our little girl later this afternoon and then Jaden can come and visit after school. Trying to get all our bases covered. I'm gonna throw the rest of our suitcases, well, a couple carry-ons and car seat is set to go. We'll need to bring snacks. I'm gonna cook some, a little bit of breakfast because we don't know the next time she's gonna be able to eat. And I hear her grind right now. So I'm gonna help her out. Yeah. Doing so good, Brad. Nose, mouth. Help me. Higher. Right there. Good 
doing good, baby girl. You're gonna get there, you're gonna get this. You got it, babe. Get there. You're gonna get there, pumpkin. You're gonna get there. I can't squeeze my back either. My car. Okay. I got it, pumpkin. We are on our way to the hospital. It's six <laughs> o'clock in the morning, and I am like not having this right now. <laughs> this is really intense. My. What are my contractions? They're about... Uh, they're three they're, minutes apart, but about 30 seconds, 40 seconds. So I'm just going in. I need the epidural. I'm dying right now, so... You got this. You got it. Just keep breathing through it. <laughs> so we're rushing down the hill. Rushing. Uh, and I'm so shaky. Like, my, uh, my nerves are just really heightened right now. I'm dripping sweat. I'm trying to stay hydrated, but this is just, this is different. this we got it we're here we're ready we're gonna Ooh. see our little baby girl <gasps> breathe 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 here you go i'm um, so excited to see her though that's what i keep thinking <laughs> she's gonna be great <laughs> she better be <laughs> she's gonna be our little baby oh my little sweetie i probably have like five minutes now okay let's do it okay let's go got the carry-on suitcase everything's ready to go let's do it happy with the epidural right now like I feel like a new person this is cute ankle yeah it was getting a little rough I'm pretty <gasps> sure I have bruises <laughs> all on my arms I know from how hard I was squeezing you yeah so I guess when they when she first checked me um my nurse me Mary she's amazing she said I was at a five but didn't want to freak me out that I was almost to a seven so I was like I need to get the epidural like please the contractions were like two minutes apart and they were able to get give me the epidural thank the lord i feel like a new person things were very intense for a little bit but i think you did a good job at one point i felt like i had to push and i was getting really worried i was like i need i was like i need you keep the baby in the epidural so right now it's like eight o'clock yeah eight o'clock we got here what seven mm -hmm. yeah or a little bit before seven and they think that things are gonna start happening around 10 or a little bit before 10 so she's coming in pretty quick Stacy our doula is on our way here I literally thought I was gonna be able to check in and like take a nap so we didn't know the timing was gonna be so fast I'm just shocked by how fast everything is going I'm shaking they said I was like almost in nine you're transitioning mm -hmm. and your water is very close to breaking Bulging. she's gonna be here really soon guys my mom and Jaden are in the parking lot. Um, they're gonna come into the waiting area, but I don't want Jaden to be traumatized by the birth, and I just think it's that a lot for a really fourteen year intense, old to see. So, yeah, yeah. Well, spare. So she'll be in right after. But I'll be right there, front row seats, <laughs> catching the baby. <laughs> That's right. I love so. you. Love you too. Mm. Get ready. Yeah. <sighs> to be whatever you need. Deep breath in and bear down. Bear hold, down. Your, hold your breath in. Go ahead, baby girl. Take breath in and now you're holding it and push in your bottom. That's the way. Because more. She's, she's, yep. she's, she's moving. moving. You got she's, it. She's yeah. Making sure you're moving, baby, when you're pushing. Yeah, you're moving. She's, she's working just like you, you're pushing. Here we go. One, two, three. I think that's better, I feel like. Jay, say hi to mama. 
Hey, pumpkin. I love you so much. I love you. <laughs> Don't make me cry. You know, I'm just pushing it. <laughs> Push, push, three, there you go. three there it is. five, there you go. six, oh, seven, good job, eight, nine, good, ten, again, wait, do we get it right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. big breath in, chin to chest, and now, go, one, two, you got it, you got it, four, down here